What is up everybody, Jason aka Jester here, and today I'm going to bring you another budget cooking video, but this is probably something you're already making at home, but I can almost promise you you're not making it in this way. Let's get outside, we'll get right into it. And wouldn't you know it, it seems like it's always my luck. As soon as we get outside here to our table, it's getting ready to rain. So we've got just a short amount of time to kind of get this in before the rain hits. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. The dish we're going to be making today, and this is part of the budget cooking series, it's also a nice way to freshen up uh, just something that's basic. We're going to be doing what they call the Oklahoma Burger. This has been around forever and ever, but uh, it seems to be getting a resurgence here lately on the internet. And I thought, hey, what a different kind of dish that we can cook up at home using the stuff that you're going to be making anyway. Basically, you just take your ground beef burger. It's going to be two to three ounce balls. And then we're going to take a white onion and we're going to slice that really down thin on our mandolin, like absolute paper thin. And if you guys don't have a mandolin, I'll put a link in the description for you. Uh, from there, we're going to take and put a couple of touches on it that is more Jester-esque. We are going to be adding bacon. Most of the time I see on the uh, YouTube, you don't see bacon being added. I think it'll be a nice touch. And I've seen a lot of people using either mayo or Miracle Whip to actually toast their buns. So we're going to give that a try today. I do have some butter on standby, though, just in case it fails. Uh, speaking of which, the bun, we've got a really nice brioche bun that we found for 99 cents at the uh, Dale Bread Store. And if you guys have a Dale Bread Store in your town, definitely think about going because we found... A ton of stuff that we're using every day now for ten dollars we had breadsticks and loaves of bread and these buns and we got some nice hoagies uh, just definitely a good place to go and get cheap bread we're also going to be using our uh, little smasher here because these are going to be a smash style burger but all that being said we're racing the weather so let me get to cutting the onion I'll bring you in for that so nothing overly complicated here what you want to do is you want to set your mandolin to the absolute finished you can get it and you want to use the uh, thing that it comes with to protect your fingers. But all you want to do is just come straight across it. And we're just trying to get absolute super thin when it comes down to the onion. You can see we've got really, really nice shaved onion here. Let me get that all done. And then I'm going to go ahead and cook the bacon. And I'm going to do the buns. I'm not going to bring that on camera. And then we'll show you guys the burgers going on. So now that we have the onion all finished up, we've got the bacon all crispy. We've got the burgers all balled up. Uh, we are ready to go, and this is the point where you want to have everything ready. I have some American cheese over here that I didn't show you a minute ago, but it's all out of the cellophane. Everything is ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop these four balls a decent distance apart on our griddle. And granted, you can do this in a uh, frying pan, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. While that's kind of simmering, we're going to take those onions that we have, I'm just going to put a nice pile of those right over the top of everything. And like I said, we have to move really fast here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little parchment paper and we're going to smash. And we're going to hold for about 10 or 15 seconds. I'll repeat that on all four of them. If you don't feel like you got them down thin enough, Go ahead and give them a little extra smash with your spatula. Just always hold it in place for a moment. I'm also going to season these with a little bit of salt and pepper. And we are good to go for just a minute. And now that we got the bottom side nice and crispied up, all we're going to do is flip these over. But this is where we're going to put in one of our little twists. I'm going to take a pat of butter to each one of these. I've not seen really anybody doing this. But it kind of makes sense. You're kind of turning this into a butter burger. And then all we're going to do is flip it upside down. Let that cook right on top of the onion. Pretty much instantly from there. And this is why you want everything ready ahead of time. I'm going to take and I'm going to put the American cheese. I don't even know what that noise was. And I'm going to put it right over the top here. From there on two of these, we're actually going to put bacon. A couple of slices there, and a couple of slices here. And then what we're going to do, and I want to show you this, that's how the mayonnaise came out. It actually looks pretty good. I'm going to put this bottom bun down on that cheese, put the other bun on top. And again, this is one with butter, so you can see that it came out pretty even. And then put that one on top, and that's just going to sizzle there for about two or three minutes. Your next step is going to be taking your spatula, getting up underneath it, 
and flipping it right over on your plate. Got these beautiful caramelized onions. They look outstanding. Just like so. From there, all you have to do is take this portion of burger, put that right over the top. And bingo, you got your sloppy onion burger. Let's put those bun tops back on. And that is a burger, boys and girls. Just look at the juiciness in that. This is going to be one of the best things you can possibly make. And it is a good budget meal because none of this really costs that much except for the ground beef and the bacon. But you could always exempt the bacon. A traditional one doesn't have that. Uh, but, you know, this is this is Jester's neighborhood, so we do what we want to do around here. If you found this kind of stuff useful and uh, maybe I've helped you save some money, think about giving the video a like and uh, possibly subscribe to the channel because we've got tons more coming in the, in the next few videos. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.